Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. Back for one more week of learning and we're excited about today. We're talking about um, when you look at a square transaction, you find it in banking, you add it in the app transaction, you go back to banking to match and it's not there. Where is it? So we're going to talk about it and hopefully this is going to answer the question to many of you. Here we go. All right. I'm going to start our, our uh, slideshow. And okay, here it is. Okay, when square deposit don't match. Okay. All right, so first thing, we're going to take a look at the, um, the transaction in under app transaction. Now, it's very important for you guys to know the workflow when you have Square integration. So a lot of people will add the transactions from banking, and then sometimes they will match it in app transactions, or sometimes they're just going to add it again and duplicate all the income. Okay, so the right... Um, workflow would be go into app application first, add the transaction there first, <laughs> and then go into banking and match it. Okay, and there's several reason f reasons for that. Um, sometimes the 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 integration doesn't work very good when you go f into the banking first and then match it in app transaction. So go here first. Add the transaction here before before you actually add the transaction. I, I always take a look in the bank just to see what's going on. So we're looking at this transaction here, four eight eight two, uh, four thousand eight hundred eighty two with twenty nine cents. All right. So if I go into view more, this is what I'm gonna see. Okay. So that's the total collected, the square fees. Oh, look at this undeposited check or cash for $50. That's the culprit. <laughs> this is the one that is not going to let us match in, um, in Square. So when you view details and you see something like undeposited cash or check in the midst of mixed up with um, credit card transaction, you know this deposit is not going to match it in banking. So that's a tip. Of course, you know, you can take a look at the rest. Everything else looks good. Uh, sales tax tips, and there is a deposit adjustment, which could be several things. Okay, so if you want to take a look at more details, you take a look at Square and view the um, Square uh, report summary, and then you can find the answer. It could be uh, a refund for something it could be several things okay all right here we go now we go to banking and we find the transaction all right so it looks like it's the same thing right same amount yes <laughs> it does but um what happened is that in square even though it says that it's 488229 is adding that 50 dollars on top and you're gonna see uh what happens so so when it shows up, when you go back into banking, you already added that transaction. There should have been like a, a green little flag so you could match the transaction. But obviously, because of that fifty dollars, it doesn't it doesn't work, right? So it doesn't that fifty dollars right over here. So it's for this reason we're not gonna find the match. So what to do? You're gonna click on the amount on the four four eight eighty two right here and then you're going to open up this box and then you're going to click on find a match okay when you click on find a match this is what's going to open up it's going to show up several transactions i know that that transaction is this one for four forty nine thirty two twenty nine because it's adding that fifty dollars right because it has a fifty dollar cash they're supposed to be on deposit fund but it doesn't quite go to on deposit funds because it's routed into the bank account so that's a little Maybe glitch with the integration, but it's fixable. You can do it. <laughs> so if we select this transaction, you see that the difference is the exact fifty dollars uh, that we have added. So now we're gonna find out what to do next. Okay. All right. So that's the fifty dollars. So now um, you're gonna click on this little button over here that says um, resolve. 
the difference okay so you're gonna go ahead and click that and then you're gonna this is gonna show up right below so this is to add or to resolve the difference sometimes it could be a cash could be a discount whatever it is okay not just with square but with other transactions too but this is where you fix it so we're pay usually i use square customer if you're tracking the customer you're going to put the name of the customer and under the category that's very important you want to to select the cash bank or cash in hand or whatever it is this cash here is actually the bank account called cash okay and you're going to subtract $50 because you're saying you're taking this this money from the cash account and depositing it here because the sale is already recorded into the 49.32.29 so this is just extra cash that was received as part of the sale but it was not a credit card so it wasn't deposit with that amount okay all right okay so if you if you resolve the situation here you're gonna go ahead and add uh, this transaction so apply and accept I actually cut the bottom you're gonna apply and accept it okay uh, once you apply and accept you can actually go to the the bank account called cash remember yeah the cash bank okay and you're gonna uh, view register and when we go to October 11th sure enough that $50 is going to show up as a deposit going into the cash account okay, because that's what happened you received the money you received the sale but uh, you didn't deposit at that point the point what was deposited to your account from Square was just the credit card transaction so that's what the difference is all right so if you go into after you accept the transaction it goes to review transaction if you go to um, to bank transaction and then click on review transaction and then you put the exact date of that transaction you find the transaction and if you click on multiple transaction it's actually a link it's gonna open up with the detail of that deposit so we have the $50 that shows as an expense but it's not an expense what it is is just saying that we're removing that $50 from the total deposit so we can match that $50 was deposit into the cash account like you saw it okay all right so if you click on the cash you will actually see the transaction see the category square customer as a cash transaction remember the sales already recorded all right so after you did that you did it you match a transaction that was not matched before probably causing you <laughs> a lot of headache and your hair to go like this right <laughs> okay so um hope this was useful if you like this video hey give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up please and subscribe to our channel we come back every week with all kinds of information with quickbooks online square integration square reports anything that has to do with helping you understand um, your uh, your accounting and knowing where you are where you stand in your business so you can take your business to the next level that's what makes me happy i want to see you succeed that's what i want to see either if you're either a bookkeeper or a fellow accountant or um, a business owner you know my goal here is to see you succeed love that all right so if you need help uh, if you want a one-on-one uh, tutorial please feel free to contact us our contact information is down below if you just need more uh, help in catching up with books or uh, if you want just to wash your hands from bookkeeping and just give it to somebody so give it to us so we can take care of your books and you can do what you like most yeah we can do that <laughs> okay all right so um hope hopefully this was useful and until next time keep on smiling